so today we're showing actually two new products and we introduced at the beginning of this year, 2016. Uh, so one is the LeapFrog uh, Bolt. Uh, it's one of the most uh, reliable and one of the most advanced desktop printers at the moment. And the other one is the XL. Uh, we didn't brought it with us because it's too large, uh, but we brought some, uh, some um, applications, some samples with us. Uh, with this machine we can print up to 2.3 meters high. What you see nowadays is that um, many companies already implemented 3D printing in their production processes uh, or in their design processes. Yet still there are some companies that uh, have not implemented this technique. Um, why is that? Uh, that could be because um, they are too big, too bureaucratic, uh, or maybe they are old-fashioned thinking, reluctant to new changes. Um, but it could also be that this FDM printing technique does not fit their needs right, or that it's not uh, efficient, um, or uh, it does not help them yet. If you look, for instance, at uh, the well-known uh, printer manufacturers, such as the MakerBolt or the Ultimaker or LeapFrog with the Creator Duo, um, they make relatively small desktop printers that print relatively slow. Uh, so if you want to print an object, let's say the size of a chair, this would take you easily three to four weeks on a desktop printer. And you have to, have to assemble it together. Um, so basically, there are many uh, products with this size which are not suitable for this uh, technique yet. So that's why we came up with large-scale 3D printing. And that's why you see a development going on now in large-scale 3D printing. Because with this large-scale 3D printing, you can print immediately one large object and it reduces the print time as well. With an Excel, uh, we can print the size of a chair in, let's say, two or three days. Of course, you have the, the prototypes. Uh, which can be, uh, can be large prototypes of something. Um, but also, uh, yeah, we actually came up with this uh, because one year ago we were approached by a company called Tech Sleeves. So they make uh, large um, yeah, sleeves and bridges for the flexographic plate making industry. Now, a sleeve is like a large cylinder. Uh, over that cylinder you place or you mount a stamp, stamp uh, and there you put ink over and then you slide it into a printing press. Um, now it starts to print food packaging. These sleeves or these cylinders are quite heavy. They also take a long time to make. You must make them by hand. Um, and they cost a lot of money. Uh, so what we did, we actually were able to print this, uh, the core of uh, such a sleeve. And it uh, saved, for the company Tech Sleeves, it saved up to 50% of waste material, 60% of, uh, of man hours. Uh, and the sleeve, we could print it, uh, that it had a weight of 15 to 20 kilograms. So instead of two persons sliding it into the print press, only one person is, ne is needed to slide it in. This is an application which wasn't, yeah, w which wasn't um, possible, I think, two or three years ago. Mm -hmm. 